First at four, a guilty verdict for the man accused of killing a Cleveland firefighter. His family and fellow firefighters were inside the courtroom as that verdict was read. Prosecutors tell our Katie Tursek it was their video evidence that was the smoking gun. Three daughters in tears, holding hands with their father's fellow firefighters as a Cuyahoga County judge read the verdict for the man accused of killing Cleveland firefighter Johnny Tetrick. For those reasons, I'm going to find the defendant guilty of all counts in the indictment. His daughters and the firefighters he so loved and trusted, sharing this emotional hug after the judge announced Leander Bissell was found guilty on all counts, including murder. I just want to thank the family of, of firefighter Tetrick and, and without um, without their support, uh, this would have been uh, much more difficult to do. Last November, Bissell was driving on I-90. He came upon this backup. There was an accident. Traffic was stopped, but Bissell didn't stop. He kept driving and hit Tetrick, who was picking up debris in the middle of the highway. And the reality was everyone knew there was an accident ahead. So once we saw that video, it became clear to us uh, that his act rose to level of a murder. My initial reaction was that perhaps it was over indicted. It was the video evidence that changed Judge Timothy McCormick's mind in this bench trial. The ODOT cameras that clearly showed he had stopped, he had thought about it, and it has continued to weave around uh, the marked police vehicles, including the last one where he was went between the, the cement wall and the, and the police vehicle just because he thought he could. A father, a brother to these first responders, and a guy who just wanted to save lives. We had told his daughters the other day, it's a tragedy that he passed away, but he died doing what he loved. As for what's next for Bissell, he will be sentenced on August 9th. He faces up to life in prison in downtown Cleveland. Katie Tursek, 19 News.